Teams are going door to door to make sure Hoosiers impacted by the recent tornadoes get the support they need. CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik went to Whiteland to see how these federal workers will provide that aid. Disaster torn towns like Whiteland are starting to transform back to normal yards, no longer entirely filled by debris. And now this additional FEMA assistance will help put those victims one step closer to a sense of normalcy. But they also want to warn of potential scammers pretending to be those federal workers. The work isn't over yet, but as helping hands continue to patch up the loose ends, some things feel like they were before like cutting the grass on a sunny April afternoon. To see where we've come from the, the first night that it hit and the damage and the destruction that was all throughout the county and just to, to kind of come through here now and to see the, the difference. Whiteland Fire Chief Eric Funkhauser says each week looks better than the last, all thanks to those helping hands. It's been amazing. Um, you know, the amount of volunteers that have stepped up from day one has been fantastic. FEMA now making sure those who lost it all have a path to full recovery. Our mission is to help people even if that's meeting them where they are. FEMA disaster survivor assistance teams now going door to door in 12 counties, including Johnson County. As they do so, FEMA wants to prevent anyone from becoming another type of victim. It's unfortunate that there are folks in society that prey on people in their worst time. If anyone tries to impersonate a FEMA worker, Craig Browning says there are clear signs to look for to make sure you are not being scammed. They're in a FEMA outfit, typically a FEMA vest. They have federal identification that you can ask for. Ask to see that identification. And don't be afraid to report any suspicion. If you suspect that somebody uh, is committing fraud or is trying to scam you through this recovery process, the first step is to report that to your local law enforcement officials. FEMA says these efforts will continue until all Indiana tornado victims are connected with the appropriate federal resources. They're working with state and local leaders to make sure this happens. Reporting in Whiteland, Michael Van Scoik, CBS 4 News. Michael.